Today we went to Jungle Gems. It is in Ohio and they sell a lot of everything. It's like an international store. Uh, we spent $710.15. So first, I'm going to show you everything that we bought that is cold. Uh, we bought the Scrim and Sicilian Pizza Zabruski. We do not have any of these in our area. This is the hot Italian pizza and pepperoni, the Philly cheese steak, the pepperoni, and the barbecue recipe meatball pizza. Kevin's going to be reviewing these on his Lunchtime Review channel. These are Bob Evans biscuits, egg, uh, sausage, egg, and cheese croissants, sausage, egg, and cheese. Uh, these are, it looks like Tringles Pizza Pinwheels. This is pepperoni, meat lover, four cheese, and veggie. He has a Pioneer Woman uh, Cowgirl Quiche. Um, then he has three of the Nancy's Quiches. This is the Cheese Trio, the Broccoli and Cheddar, and the Lorraine. And then um, these look really good. Uh, these are Gia Rusa. This is a spicy pepper jack pepperoni roll, a double stuffed pepperoni roll, and an Italian stromboli roll. So those are all the lunchtime reviews. Um, I bought the two Duncan Hines. We've never been able to find these in particular. Uh, this is the gooey double chocolate brownie and the gooey caramel oatmeal, uh, but, sorry, gooey butterscotch oatmeal cookie. This is the Friendly's Jubilee Roll, which you all wanted me to get back at Christmas. We never had it in our area, so I was glad to find out. Then I have a lot of Perry's Ice Creams. This one's called Off the Grid, Cheat Day, Peanut Butter Cookie, S'more Yardage. Uh, let's see. It to you. We have Grasshopper Pie, Fireball, Panda Paws, uh, Deep Sea Treasure, Bad Breakup, Cookie Dough. Um, this one's called uh, Elf Trash. And then I have uh, some of these Cream Witch. This is a Salted Caramel. This is the original, and this is uh, Milk Chocolate Dipped. We have some Velvet Ice Cream. These are called Buckeye Classic Ice Cream Sandwiches. We bought some no sugar added vanilla Klondike because I've never seen no sugar added. And we bought some Neapolitan and we bought the Heath Bar. Um, I bought these uh, High Road. This is luxury ice cream. This is bourbon burnt sugar and caramel pecan. I bought uh, some Jenny's ice cream. Uh, this was out for Christmas, but we never got it. Boozy Eggnog and... Um, Cognac with gingerbread. We, Kevin and I have never tried Jenny, so this will be our first experience. Lucky for us, they had a ton of their flavors in these little containers. So this is the uh, frozen yogurt. This is lemon. This one is called cream puff. This is honey vanilla bean. This is uh, honey vanilla bean. What's the difference? Honey vanilla bean, honey vanilla bean. Street treats. I don't know what the difference is. Probably isn't. They probably just stuck it. You know what? It. I bet they stuck a different uh, top on it. That's okay. That's okay. Kevin likes vanilla. Uh, this is a dairy-free uh, dark chocolate truffle. This is a uh, sorbet frosé. This is salted peanut butter chocolate flex. This is the darkest chocolate, and this is the brown butter almond brittle. I found these friendly cups that we've never been able to find. This is the red velvet cake, the blackberry peach pie, the peanut butter fudge, the strawberry shortcake, the pecan praline, and the banana cream pie. These things are not, uh, this is frozen. Uh, this is the Cookie Dough Cafe Confetti Cake. And then I was able to find the peanut butter chocolate chip. Uh, these are cookie dough bars. The chocolate chip and the mint brownie batter. And then these were just refrigerated. These are called Whoa Cookie. Or, sorry, Whoa Dough. Whoa Dough. This is a chocolate chip cookie dough, peanut butter cookie dough, sprinkle sugar cookie dough, peanut butter chocolate chip cookie dough, sugar cookie dough and those are just refrigerated so what we're going to do is we're going to put all this up and then um i'll continue on with everything else we got 
So we bought some chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. This is the milk chocolate waffle cone, uh, caramel. This is the cannoli truffle and the milk chocolate peanut butter banana. I picked that one out, yum yum. <laughs> um, this, uh, these are, I don't remember, I'm not gonna tell you what countries these are from. If you look across the table here, we have things from all different countries, so I'm just gonna tell you what I can pronounce, and then when we actually do the review video, it'll be more in depth and you'll find out where everything's from. So this is Irish coffee, and they look like little peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. Hazelnut, espresso, and tiramisu. And then we have these uh, Goya. Goya is a very popular brand. Um, they have Goya uh, vanilla and strawberry waffles, pineapple, I mean, wafers, wafers sorry, <laughs> wafers, pineapple wafers, coconut, and uh, dulce de leche. They had other flavors. Of course, we didn't get them all. Um, these look so delicious, these little cookies. Um, they are just like these are have apricot jam. You might be able to see it better from the side. These are apricot tarts. These are cherry tarts. These are cocoa. It has a and they're, glare on them anyway. Oh, I'm so. sorry. They're a product of Italy. So those were in the Italian section. And then these are wild berry tarts. And they just look so delicious. So I had to get all those are every flavor that they have, those actually. Um then we bought the Aunt Jemima. These are uh, pancakes on the go. We have uh, buttermilk and maple and chocolate chip. We, um, you may recall, we found some of this uh, Devon's Mackinac Island Fudge Company. We found it right in town at Rural King, but we bought everything they had. So we found a whole display at uh, Jungle Gems. And so these are ones we haven't tried. This is the cookie and cream, it's all fudge. Cookie and cream. Cookie dough, maple pecan, moose attack, and peanut butter. Just a solid hunk the of peanut butter. The only thing we didn't buy was the peanut butter chocolate, which was like two layers. Half peanut butter and half chocolate. Right. That's all but we had tried one that yeah. was peanut butter and chocolate. So uh, this is a, a Ricolino, and it says there's going to be four different flavors, I'm hoping, in here. Um, I hope that means four flavors. Um, it has... Um, I think caramel, vanilla, um, it looks like chocolate and strawberry. and strawberry. Yeah, so that's what I'm hoping is in there. Um, then we have, these are um, orange flavored oat crisps and double chocolate crisps. Those remind me of the Lacey's cookies that we tried from World Market. I don't know if that's what they're gonna be like or not. Um, and then I have two cereals that I've been looking for in our area, and I couldn't find them at our stores. This is a Post Great Grains New Flavor Raisin Cluster Crunch. And this is the uh, Frosted Mini Wheats filled with uh, mixed berry. And then we have, you may come down here. These are all with um, the Sriracha. This is uh, with 55% dark chocolate, 70% dark chocolate, and 36% milk chocolate. And I thought those would be fun to try. I've never seen those before. Then we have some Milka bars. Uh, this is the Oreo brownie. We have had Milka with Oreo, but not Oreo brownie. This is the bubbly Alpine milk, and this is the bubbly white. And then we have tried the Cadbury dark milk, but these are Milka. We have raspberry, almond, and Alpine milk. And then we have these Britannia's Neutro, these are some more of the uh, wafer cookies. So we have chocolate, strawberry, orange, and hazelnut. I have been wanting to try these Quest chips since they came out. Uh, apparently these are supposed to taste just like Taco Bell. So I'm very excited to try these because we hated the potato chips. So these are all torti uh, tortilla chips. These are the loaded taco, the chili lime, ranch, which sounds good, and nacho cheese. And then we have these uh, Roshan shooters, or Roshan shooters. This is the rum liqueur and the Irish coffee. Kevin's looking at it so he knows if there's a glare on yeah, it. Yeah, it's a horrible glare when you hold it up. There. These look just fantastic. So I bought every one they had. <laughs> you I'm you sorry. have the perfect angle for glare. I'm sorry. Okay, so these are uh, just different Jaffa biscuits. We will have to figure out what they are. It looks like this one has a blueberry flavor, Maybe apricot. apricot, and cherry. 
and they just look so they incredible look that I had to buy one of each that they had. These two things back here are actually made in, were they made in Cincinnati or made so. in Columbus? Columbus. Columbus okay. okay, so these are Buckeye Crunch uh, Cream and Nut Company. So they are actually made in Columbus. That's up where um, Jungle Gems is in Ohio. And so we bought the Cashew Crunch. They did have other flavors, but they were incredibly expensive. So we just chose the two that we thought looked the best. These are GGE Wheat Crackers. So we have original flavor, hot chili flavor, barbecue flavor, and hot spicy flavor. Then we have these, um, Kur curry, I don't know how you say it. Kur curry is what I would curry. Think. We have the chili chatika, the um, original. We I think they're original. They original. It says chicken. Oh, there you go. So chick. Oh yeah, chicken. Okay, and then masala munch, green chutney, and naughty tomato. And then I bought this uh, Jan and Jim's. It is a peanut butter filled wafers and raspberry jam. And it's actually a product of Greece. And I just thought it looked really good with that jam in it. I hadn't seen anything like that around here. Um, then, let's see. That went with something else. I'm wondering where I stuck it. Oh, I see. Right here. So I knew I bought two by the same name. I'm trying to keep them together. These are the... Was something I don't know. This is coconut candy, and this is coconut candy. Uh, they're just different things. Like one looks toasted. Yeah. So we will we'll be able to talk more when we do the review. I'll make sure I know what I'm talking about a little bit. Uh, don't expect much. Uh, this is the Haribo fruit salad. This is the uh, just looks like milk gummies. They have a milk white coating, and then these look like pills. <laughs> Literally look like a pill. And they look like um, they're good and plenty is what they look like. So they had a ton of Harbo, but those were ones that we picked out quickly. We knew we hadn't had. These are Cold Stone lollipop rings, um, cheesecake fantasy. So we have a cheesecake fantasy, strawberry blondie, and very, very, very good. Uh, then we have some Humpty Dumpty buttered cheese flavored. We have some Lay's Max macho chili flavor and some Lay's joyful uh, magic masala flavor. Those are uh, both from uh, India. India. Then we have some Utz California, uh, sorry, Cal Carolina style barbecue potato chips, salt and vinegar, and um, Helva Good French onion, which sounds really good. Back down here, we have the JJ's Bakery. We've tried a bunch of these, but we haven't had these. Banana cream, blackberry pie, strawberry and cream duos. So that's the only duos I saw. These are called Good Fats. And um, uh, we have the mint chocolate chip, the chocolate chip cookie dough, the rich chocolate almond, peanut butter chocolate, and coconut chocolate. Then we have these mountain bars. And um, they are, we have the cherry mountain bar, the vanilla, and the peanut butter. And then we have these candy bars. I just have them laying there. I don't know where they're from or I haven't put them together or anything. This is the um, monolith. This one is the Jap. This is the gold. Gold, gold. I guess those would be gold. This yeah. is Rocky Road Original. This one is uh, Anton Berg Nougat. It's marzipan, a mar a Nougat Marzipan Bar. This one is a Stores Nougat. Uh, this one, we have a, a Uno Rich Creamy Chocolate. And then we have a Chocolate Frida. Then we also have a um, Jimmy Sticks by Boyer. So the Boyer makes the Mallow Cups. And then there's three more chocolate bars. These are Russian uh, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and chocolate and rum. Then we have these bourbons. These are, um, I have no idea what, just bourbon. If they all say bourbon, but like they're different ones. So I'll have to figure it out. Um, I'm sure it says it on the label. Um, oh, here's another one. And they just look really, they look really delicate, good. but they look like they would have a good flavor. 
Uh, Kevin bought these for himself. They have a whole metal earth section, which is awesome. And they were cheaper than some of the places I'd seen them, so. So this is the Sith TIE Fighter. This is the um, Red Keep from Game of Thrones. This is the um, Silence, which is a ship from um, Game of Thrones. And this is the Iron Throne. Tammy liked that one. I love the Iron Throne. I think that is awesome looking. I love Game of Thrones, though. Um, these are candy bars. I don't know how to pronounce that um, <laughs> at all. So, and I, I don't even know. This marzipan. one looks like marzipan. And then mousse au chocolat. And then this one looks like... Uh, Strawberry cheesecake? Chocolate with truffle filling. I don't know what, what that like is. Strawberry cheesecake to me. Uh, let's see. If you want to know. Raspberry. Oh. Raspberry cream. And this one's the cappuccino. And then we bought some chips. These are... They said they're new. They're like... They're pizza, some kind of pizza chip. And then we bought these pizza snacks. Uh, so we figured we would try those together. And then, um, those are all Jack and Jill, aren't they? Isn't that what they're called? Yeah. Jack and Jill. Except this one. So these were on their own. This is Golden Sweet Corn. And, okay, these are all Jack and Jill. Uh, these are Onion and Garlic. Roadhouse Barbecue. Uh, potato Rings. They're Cheddar Cheese Potato Rings. Nacho pizza, uh, chili and cheese. Those are chippies. Uh, these are sour cream and onion. Uh, Mr. Chips nacho cheese. So some of them I think are tortilla chips and some of them are shaped different. Um, then we have uh, curls. These are cheese curls. And then we bought a bunch of these uh, Tato's. We have, um, and I think these are supposed to be like from the United Kingdom or something. Uh, Ireland, I thought. Ireland? Okay. Oh, well, I'll this, know. They were sold in Ireland. Section. Okay. These are pickled onion, beef and onion, prawn cocktail, which when we were there, a man was buying like 20 of these prawn cocktail. Uh, sea salt and vinegar, spring onion, Worcester sauce, smoky bacon. Uh, we got two spring onions. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. We'll eat them. And cheese and onion. I got two new Kit Kats. I'm very excited last about of, these. Oh, the last of these. The last, last of these. This batch. Um, these are uh, party ice cream Kit Kats, and these are custard pudding. So that is it for this section, and now um, the last thing I'm going to show you is all of the drinks we bought. Okay, so you can look and see. This is all the drinks we're going <laughs> to go through. It's a lot because each one of these is different. Uh, this is the Ohana Peach Iced Tea. The Kiwi Strawberry, Peach Melon, Original, Blueberry Lemonade, and Lemonade. And then we have these Goyas. This is a Pina. Flip it over. It says what it is. Oh, pineapple. pineapple. <laughs> it's in English on the pineapple, other side. Pineapple. Strawberry. I'm glad you told me that. Strawberry. Uh, banana. Banana. And Strawberry Banana. And then these are kind of just, I figured that you all would like to hear about them and I would like to try them too. So this is a Duff energy drink. Duff is from The Simpsons. And then th this is also from The Simpsons. It's a Flaming Mo energy drink. And then we have, Ashley's going to love this. We have a Bob Ross. Positive en energy. Positive <laughs> energy drink. Then we have a Sonic the Hedgehog speed energy drink. If Gavin wasn't so little, I would have bought one for him, but I think he's too little for an energy oh, yeah. drink. But he likes Sonic. This is Mega Man E Tank energy drink. And this is a zombie survival can. And it's an energy drink. And then we reviewed some Fagos. And they all they had Diet Fago as well. Tons of them. But these are ones we hadn't tried. This is pineapple, cotton candy, uh, pineapple watermelon, and uh, Moon, Moon Mist. Mist Blue. Okay. And then they have these containers to put your drinks in, mm -hmm. which is really nice. I, I wish we had noticed that from the very beginning. We started putting them all in the cart, and then Kevin's like, oh, wait, they have these. Um, so this is nice. So this is the Lester's Fixins. And if you recall, we have tried some Lester's Fixins in He's the past. Evil. I believe Scarlet sent those to us a long time ago. He's evil, and so is Scarlet. <laughs> 
and they have weird, weird flavors. So I think I picked, um, I think I picked two or three that were I thought were passable. This is pickle. This one is butter. And then this one is mustard. And it looks like a mustard label, doesn't it? Like a French's mm -hmm. mustard. And that's on that side. And then on this side, we have totally gross soda. So this one is, uh, it's, a, it's a fruity mix, but it's called Swamp Juice. This one is a pineapple orange, and it's called Kitty Piddle. <laughs> And they had tons of these, too. I would have liked to have gotten them all. And then this one is a raspberry orange, and it's called Unicorn Yak. And I just thought those were really uh, uh, cute. And then we have, I think these are just all going to be. Okay, so we, somebody had told me that we need to trust the Spreachers. I think it's from Wisconsin. Yeah, it's from Wisconsin, Spreachers. Yeah, they're all through there. Okay, so I... These are the fat bottles, so I couldn't fit a bunch okay, of Okay, so I bought a Spreachers cream soda, a ginger ale. There's two in that one. A cherry cola, a orange dream. There's one more back there. Root beer. Oh, that is a Spreachers. A root beer. Then this one is grape. Blue one. This one is uh, Puma Cola. Puma Cola. Puma Cola. Uh, is that all the Spreachers? It's all the fat ones I see. Okay, I think we got all the Spreachers. So that's that's good. We've got seven Spreachers to try. And then these are all Goya. Let me show you all these because they're all together. We have Sangria. We have uh, Strawberry. We have Grape. Mandarin, Cola Champagne, Fruit Punch, Coconut, and Ginger Beer. So let me put some of these back and we'll be right back. We found another Spreacher, but it was in a bottle. It is Ginger Beer, so we'll be trying that. Skinnier. <laughs> this one is kind of like off by itself. It was a peanut butter old fashioned soda and it didn't go with anything, but I had, it said peanut butter, I had to try it. <laughs> um, these I thought would be cool to try because they're all Jungle Gems brand. So we have the uh, Black Cherry, the Root Beer, Ginger Beer, Safari Strawberry, Grape, Blue Raspberry, and, those two. and these two, this is Orange, and then this one is Cream Soda, and then these are Melba's Fixin'. So Lester has the bad flavors, Melba has the good flavors. Melba has uh, Cherries and Cream Soda, and they had a lot of other, of all of these, and these are just the ones that we chose. And we've tried some of these too. Yeah. Carrot cake, yes, you can find Melba's Fixin' on, on the channel too. Carrot cake, birthday cake, coffee cake, and strawberries and cream. And then these are uh, Lost Trail. So we have a root beer, um, strawberry cream, and they had a ton of these too, and cream soda. And then these, uh, this is the Henry Weinhards, Weinhards, Black Cherry Cream, Root Beer, and Vanilla Cream. You can tell what's what we like, Root Beer and Vanilla Cream. <laughs> yeah. And then these are um, uh, the original Cookie Dough Bites Soda. So we have Fudge Brownie, uh, just Cookie Dough Bites, the original. And then this one is the chocolate chip. And then in the, on the back side, we have three random root beers, but we thought we would compare them to see which one we like the best. This one is the brownie caramel cream root beer. So you know what? It's going to taste different. I didn't notice that when we got it. It's going to taste different. You could put a Jungle Gems root beer with it or something. And then this is the Three Stooges Wise Guy root beer. And then this is the Red Arrow root beer. So those are all the drinks we got. They had some really cold ones. They had some that were dedicated to Kiss. They had uh, one that was Farrah Fawcett. Um, they, they had some that were questionable, that were like, um, 
uh, evil people. They have political yeah, figures on them. Yeah, like Kim Jong-un and people like that. And so, even though I was curious about the drinks, I didn't get them because I didn't think it would be good to put those on the channel. I didn't think people would appreciate that because these are people that have murdered people. So, I did not buy them. Uh, but they had a lot of neat ones to choose from. They had a ton more. I mean, we could go back tomorrow and get a ton this more. This many more. But now, somebody had asked me to try the New York Seltzer Water. I never saw those there. Singles. Singles. Yeah, they had packages but not singles so I do still plan to get those at, uh, whenever we go to world market again but as you can see it's probably going to be a, a while before we go to world market again so we will be trying those uh, but we have to get through all these first so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you're looking forward to all these reviews and thanks for watching